All right. So what would be the main uh, advantage of doing a ketogenic diet? And, and if someone's doing a ketogenic diet, what should they not do? Okay. The advantages of a ketogenic diet yeah. and what should they not do? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll, let me do the, what they should not do first. Okay. A, don't rely on urinary ketone strips. Okay. Why? Because, because if you're, tr if you're training, yeah. and you're training hard in an energy deficit but you're not over consuming fat mm -hmm. you're not going to pee a lot of ketones so what happens is people will get reliant on i i want to see purple i want to see purple yeah. if it's not deep purple i'm not into ketosis if it's if it's ketosis as a lifestyle and you're wanting the brain protective of, and the mental acuity yeah. effects of the ketones you won't yeah it's fine have it deep purple but yeah. just keep in mind for what we what we deal with, which is athletics and, and physique, yeah. if you're p deep purple, then that means that your energy balance is probably too high and you're probably not going to lean out, which is a lot of people are going to ketogenic diets to lose body fat. All right. And is deep purple a universal color on the ketogenic Deep purple is always a so yeah. It's, it's, no it's always, thinking you're going to have like purple. light pink, pink and the yeah, deep purple. Okay. And if you wake up every morning and you pee on the strip and you go, yes, I'm deep yeah. purple, that's, you're probably over consuming fat. Yeah. And do you think like ketogenic diets should be used more as a lifestyle instead of just yeah, a, I, a short period of time to I do one? I think they're great. I think they're great for a lifestyle. Yeah. They keep people, if you, if you can adhere to the diet yeah, and stay on a diet, right? Yeah. Like I did, mm -hmm. I've done ketogenic diets for over 20 years, right? Yeah. Now lately I've gotten into eating a little bit more fruit because it makes me feel a lot better yeah. and it cuts my inflammation down. So yeah. now I'm not really ketogenic diet much. I'm doing intermittent fasting yeah. with that so, other stuff. So. so as well as not uh, relying on those urinary ketone strips, mm -hmm. what else should people not do on a ketogenic diet? They shouldn't, they shouldn't have it as a license to just eat whatever they want. They, <laughs> people should still eat yeah. relatively, in my opinion, relatively clean. Like yeah. in, in, and that's what got people in trouble with the Atkins diet uh, decades ago, where people were they, they didn't understand what was going on. They were eating porterhouses and you know just going crazy and eating as much food as they wanted to because they thought they could just overeat and still lose body fat. You could, you'll still you might possibly still lose weight, but that yeah. doesn't mean you're gonna you're actually gonna transform your body, which is what what we specialize in. And what would be good clean sources of fat? Uh, okay, so good clean sources of fat would be mm -hmm. things like eating more uh, grass fed type animals, yep. uh, wild game, coconut oil, red palm oil, ghee, yeah. um, butter if you can handle the dairy, mm -hmm. if you don't have a dairy intolerance, um, nuts would be a good and one And ghee's well. okay for people that, that don't typically deal well with dairy, right? Because Yeah, if you get real ghee where yeah. it's really clarified and all the milk yeah. solids are out, people tend to not have an allergy to it. Yeah. Not saying that they won't, but yeah. they're less likely to. Yeah. Uh, all, 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 olive oil. Always olive oil is yeah. always a good choice. Too. And you want to you want to have olive oil not cooked, right? You would yeah, preferably have it lightly oil. saute. Yeah. You don't want to yeah. heat it up too much, yeah. and and you really want to get the good olive oil. A lot right. of people use the really virgin yeah. stuff, but there's a lot of good nutrition in the actual real olive oil. Yeah. And um, the benefits, uh, advantages of having a ketogenic diet. Better mental acuity, uh, less energy swings. Yep. Um, a lot of people report that they need less sleep. Yep. to get the job done you you tip it tends to be a little bit easier especially if people are prone to having insulin resistance if you have uh, if you have diabetes and hypertension and things like yeah. that that run in your family it tends to help out with that a lot yeah right. and we've also heard claims that people recover a lot quicker from like if, if they do work out yeah or... because when, when you when you think about it when you're eating a lot of sugar or a lot of carbohydrates same thing and you're training uh -huh. and if you're if you depending on what rep range or depending if you're making energy appropriately or not, you're yeah. going to get a huge amount of lactate and hydrogen building up, which is going to yeah. cause a massive swelling in your muscles. Yeah. That massive swelling plus the muscle contraction yeah. is going to cause muscle bro pr uh, breakdown. Yeah. Okay? okay. And it's also because of the acidity, it's going to cause uh, inflammatory markers like cytokines to be released a lot, which is going to impair your ability to recover. Okay. So removing those carbohydrates, Remove those are those... Removing the yeah. carbohydrates lessens the amount of lactate you're yeah. going to produce, which is going to limit the amount of hydrogen you're releasing, which is going to limit the inflammation, which is going to limit okay. the inflammatory chemicals. Okay. So I've heard you say um, pre a few times previously that it's not really the, the, the first pick of diets you would give to someone who needed really, really good performance. No. So would you say that a cyclical ketogenic it, diet yeah. would be beneficial because they can recover quicker with less inflammation Ooh, without yeah. being fully on a ketogenic diet? Right, because yeah. for optimal performance, 
you still want some carbohydrate in, yeah. okay? It, 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 but you don't need it all the time. Yeah. So a targeted ketogenic or a cyclical ketogenic yeah. diet, something like Dr. Moro De Pasquale's anabolic diet, we've yeah. used that a lot, especially mm -hmm. with our physique athletes, and they, they tend to like it a lot. It, we get really good results on it. But you know, we use a lot, a lot of the people that we would use a ketogenic diet is, is uh, athletes that have a weight class. Okay. Like we were talking to Glenn about climbers. Yeah. Like climbers have yeah. to get if you if you You wanna be light. You wanna be light. Yeah. So the more the more carbohydrates you eat, the more it's gonna pull water in, it's gonna fill you up and it's gonna make you a little bit heavier yes. in, in, in that sport every kilo counts. Yeah, because for every gram of carbohydrates you consume you hold about was it three to four grams three to of four, water? Three to four, yeah. So yeah. So you could have I mean I, I can you've seen me, I'll I'll move three or four kilos yeah. a night. Same. So So do I. Yeah. Um, a little so, awesome. yeah.